Let's talk about a real simple change that you can make to your budget price firearms to really help out with uh, your front sight post and picking up a target a little bit faster in low light and regular light conditions. And that simple upgrade is fingernail polish, believe it or not. Some people really know about this type of deal for firearms, other people don't. Uh, some people just use the fingernail polish trick to, uh, if you want to take and, and uh, fill in the uh, roll marks on the side for whatnot, if you want it to stand out, a lot of people do that. What I'm talking about is more sights. You can see right here on this High Point C9 that I have a little bit of white in the um, rear peep sight and some white in the front sight as well. And this is just standard nail polish. Also on this Escort shotgun, what I did is you can see the front sight blade there is white as well. So uh, the reason I did that is because while these normal sights are easy enough to pick up, it's better if you have some sort of contrast. So uh, you can go to the store, you could pick up a simple a uh, little bottle of whatever color fingernail polish you want to use. You could use white, orange, pink, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just fond of white. I'm used to white. So that's what I put on both of these uh, sites. And it works out really good. You can get just a little bit of fingernail polish remover as well and some Q-tips. So that way, if there's a little bit of overpaint, you can clean up the lines and whatnot. And that especially is true for right in here. Uh, this one I painted, this rear peep sight on this high point I ended up getting a little bit on the sides and I had to use the fingernail polish to get that done. The front sight here, high points they have those yellow front sights and that was fine but I wanted it to match so uh, that's what I did and just to show you that's kind of the contrast I have right there. So um, it's really easy simple upgrade I mean I can't talk about it too long uh, I just wanted to show that to you guys and let you guys know that uh, it's really it's something that really makes a difference. And where you're going to see this is in low light. In regular light, of course, you'll see a difference. But I think where it really makes a difference is in low light or if you're in a situation where um, a lot of your backdrop is in darker colors. When you have straight black sights, when, you're, when you have a backdrop that's darker colors, sometimes it kind of tends to blend in. But this, you have a good contrast, especially on the shotgun. This entire thing, the back of the blade is white, and that's really gonna make a huge difference when it comes to um, if I'm out in the woods or whatnot, or if I'm, you know, if I'm using this in any type of low light, it's gonna make a huge difference. So in any case, just wanted to point that out to you guys. Just take a look at that, and um, I recommend it for budget firearms that have fixed sights such as these. Like, you know, you got like the Cobras as well. Uh, the Cobras, the Jimenez's, the, all those little cheap handguns. And I think for most of them, it'll work. The high point, it worked out really well on because uh, the front, even though it's molded into the slide, it's recessed a little bit. So it really took that paint well. And just with the, um, with the rear peep sight, that just really turned out good. So in any case, uh, for most of the cheaper firearms out there that have the sights cast into the slide or like the cheaper shotguns that have just the blade on them on the front, that'll work. Um, you can do it for the bead shotguns uh, and make it a white bead, but uh, most of the shotguns I've dealt with, they just have the kind of brass bead or whatnot, and that's, that's enough contrast right there. I don't worry about painting it, but you certainly can if you want. Anyway. I uh, just wanted to point that out. Really inexpensive. You don't have to spend just a couple dollars, and it makes a difference on the sight picture of your gun. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and stay safe.